Good afternoon and welcome to another ClinCheck Sunday Short. I am your host, Dr. David Gower. 60 seconds to make your ClinCheck's better and your treatments more predictable. All right, we have a lower anterior crowding case here and the lower anterior teeth are coming forward. And the million dollar question is, will this movement, this buckle movement, will that cause recession? Will that move through the buckle plate of bone? The answer is, it depends on the arch. There are some people where this arch is very narrow, very thin ridge. You can feel the imprints of the root through the ridge. In that case, if you feel it really thin, it's going to come right through. You're going to get recession on those teeth. If it's a nice, thick ridge, just an underdeveloped area, you can go ahead and move those teeth. Best way to do it, clinical exam for the patient. Um, here, I'm just going to kind of, I didn't have the benefit of the clinical exam, but I'm going to kind of look at these pictures, see this nice thick tissue here. Could have had a better, I need a better picture just to be able to retract and see what this tissue looks like, but it looks like nice thick tissue here. I think these teeth will successfully move. Another thing to look at would be the profile picture. If I see a very retracted, retruded jaw, probably not one that I want to bring those lower anterior teeth far forward, but a normal size profile, I would be confident, bring those teeth into the arch, develop the arch form. This has been a ClinCheck 60 Second Sunday Short with your host, Dr. David Gallagher.